it's Christy and I'm here with another video from Operation Christmas Child. You're getting a sneak peek at my boxes that I've been working on. They're the woodland boxes but what I really wanted to show you today is this box from Michelle. So let's open it on camera. Oh hopefully I cut through enough of the tape I can get it open. Um, so you can see what Michelle sent me. Um, actually, I don't know what's in here. The last one I she kind of told me, but I don't know. So it'll be a surprise for me too. She is such, such a wonderful friend and partner. I'm just, I'm just shaking because I'm so excited to see what's in here. Oh, first she has a nice note. Let me open that real quick. I can see some Beanie Babies on the top. Oh, and some menstrual pads for the older girls. That's wonderful. And she says she appreciates working with me for God's children. And her prayers are included with these items for my shoe boxes or for fillers and ultimately for the children who receive them. May God's grace shine upon them and you in his glory. Love, Michelle. Oh, thank you, Michelle, it's beautiful. Speaking of fillers, she, she always says, and if I, I can't put these in my shoe boxes, use them for fillers. I just hope that you guys are putting aside fillers for um, sending to the processing center. Michelle was, um, at Walmart on or she was on her way to work the Lord prompted her to stop at Walmart and wouldn't you know she was able to find a cartload of children's shoes from between one and five dollars she said one two and five dollars so under five dollars for a cartload of shoes each and um, she's just excited to be able to use them for fillers if she can't get them in her shoe box so when you see a deal don't think oh I'll just get one like um, I was also at Walmart this week and the scissors were 25 cents. So I just put a big armful in my cart because even if I have already enough scissors, the children may, may need them. So I'm thinking of that. So don't forget your fillers. This is so cute. Look at his big square hippo nose. I haven't seen this one before. His name is Happy. I love it. That's a cute one. And a dog, who doesn't love a cute beanie baby dog? This is Dobie. With a name, I think they seem very personal, don't they? This is Bongo, Monkey. And, oh, I just love putting these beanie babies in boxes. This is Cubby. Oh, cute, 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 cute bear. Another monkey, this is Congo. I bet he's a gorilla. And a moose, oh my nose just started running. Bad timing, chocolate, the moose. And oh, koala bear, so cute. This is Mel. All right, let's see what we've got here. The menstrual pads. She already has them in packets of five and that's a great amount because then they can kind of alternate um, get home from school and wash and then let them have time to dry for the next day um, so they have enough to go through the week um, and I already have some wet bags that I ordered from Amazon so these will go right in all the girl 10 to 14 boxes and you know if they can't if they're 10 they haven't started their cycle they can save them or maybe there was another woman in the house or a friend that could use these these are just like gold over there so Michelle um, has the tutorial for these. She says they're very, very, very simple to make. If you're interested, she has all the information on blessingsinashoebox.com. And it's so fun that she puts these bright colors um, for the girls. So thank you, Michelle, that's great. Ooh, I, there's so many things, I don't know what to open first. Oh good, we've got the little toddler shoe um, chalkboard. This one is, so, so cute. She knows I love sea turtles and she does too. And the little chalkboard inside and the piece of chalk and the eraser in the pocket. 
that's a great design. And here's a flower one, very cute. She's getting very creative with these. Nice. And let's see what this is. Oh, this is a backpack. Her wonderful string backpacks. I love the rainbow color and the colored pencils. This will be great for the art boxes. Oh, really cute. We're doing a lot of um, art theme boxes and she's gonna have to help me with that exactly how to put in everything because she's doing the same, the same um, thing with her. She's making art boxes and she inspired me to do it. This is so fun, look at this. They can, um, make a design on all these. I'm gonna open one up. She put the DMC floss in here, three different colors. And then she has a nice two needles, a nice little um, plastic and a metal needle. And then she's including four shaped pieces of this plastic um, needle point material so they can make their own design and it'd be fun to give them as gifts they could use something like this as a bookmark that's going to be very fun they can just be super creative and no two will be alike so she's got some of those in there for me that's very nice thank you michelle it's really nice oh look at they're all different too look at the color can you see that i mean the shape of that is so pretty no two will be alike because they have the different colors of floss in here. That's fun. Oh, and more Beanie Babies. Look at this. The anteater, another bear, a raccoon. Oh, dachshund. And a fox. Oh, those foxes are one of my favorite. Squirrel. This is cute. Look at that. It's a little chick hatching. Cute, cute, cute and a skunk, a husky, another dog, a Dalmatian, oh, a Basset Hound, cute. And this is another dog. This is those, um, oh, I can't remember what they're called, but his name is Bruno, cute. Oh, and look at, this is what she included. These are the directions, oh my gosh. I bet she has this printable on our blessingsinashoebox.com website. It explains how to use the menstrual pads um, with the panties. They just snap behind. Oh my gosh, that's great. And how to wash them too, all in picture tutorial. So that is going to be going in each one of these sets. So that's great. So that's the end of this uh, um, shoebox um, supplies from Michelle that she sent so many wonderful items. Um, thank you for watching. Tell me what, um, if you're using any of these tutorials and which of these items that you like the best or you think is the most useful. Um, and also take advantage of doing things like this. I mean, you could make a bunch of these just for fillers and they would be great for the older girls in their shoe boxes that, are, that come to this processing center half full. I love the idea of being able to send fillers. Um, does it cost any money for shipping? and we can make the boxes that come in that aren't quite, um, you know, filled up, that we can make them a little bit more interesting and fun by adding to them by sending our fillers. So thanks for watching and bye for now.